Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to write the equation of a circle given pieces of information. So you can see for each problem we're given different pieces of information and we want to write the equation of the circle. So um, what I did is I kind of wrote in some basic general information. We don't really need the standard form of a quadratic up here anymore. But I have the equation of the circle as x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared as well as um, the center is h comma k, and the radius is r. So you know, basically, when you're given a problem, the, the main important thing I want to do is you know, label and identify what we are given. So in this case, remember the center you can see is h k. So I'm just going to write h k above that. So I can say that h is equal to 0, and k is equal to 0. We know that the radius, radius is equal to r, but if you look at the equation, in the, um, oh, their equation is equal to r. OK, so sorry about that. I was thinking ahead. So we can say radius is just r. So now, to write the equation, I'm just going to take the equation and then plug in the values that we're given. So we're not given any x or, eight, uh, x or y. So I'm going to have x minus h, which is 0, squared plus y minus k, which is 0, squared equals r, which is given as 4 squared. And now we just go ahead and simplify it or write our equation of our circle. x minus 0 is just x. x is squared is just x squared. Plus y minus 0 is y. That's y squared equals 4 squared, which is equal to 16. And there you go. That's our equation of our circle. In the next example, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to write in h, k. And this is r. And then again, plug in the information into our formula for our uh, circle. So I have x minus 3 squared plus y minus. Now, a lot of times, students will get stuck with this one. Um, so what I do is just put it in parentheses, negative 6 squared equals square root of 7. I'll put that in parentheses again squared. And a lot of times, it's actually even helpful. I didn't do this in this one. But it's a lot of helpful any time that you're plugging in a value in replacement of another value um, or a variable. It's sometimes very helpful to put in parentheses. Not only does that tell me, uh, myself, as well as my teacher, that, hey, I inserted you know, this value for this variable, it also can help you prevent uh, mathematical errors. For instance, like in these two problems. So I didn't do it because 0 is like pretty obvious, right? You don't really need to put parentheses around the 0. But you definitely could have put it around there. But 4 squared, we know, is 4 squared, right? But it really comes helpful in these next two problems where we could easily make a mathematical mistake if we weren't careful. x minus 3, I don't need parentheses around that. That's pretty basic to understand. So that's just x minus 3 squared. Plus, however, y minus a negative 6 minus a negative is really addition. So that's why this turns to y plus 6 squared equals. And then the square root of 7 squared, well, the square root and squaring are inverse operations. So that's just going to leave us with 7. All right, in the next example, now I'm not given a radius. I'm given the center, which I'm familiar with is h comma k. And I'm given a point 6 comma 4. Well, let's go back to the equation. We need to know h and k. Right, to, write, uh, to write that as well as r. But we're not given r. The only other thing is we're given a point. Well, we know that a point, when graphing points, those can be rewritten as x and y's. So if I'm given x, h, y, k, could I plug in that information to find r? Yes, of course we could. So we're going to plug in all the information. So I have x, which is now 6, minus h, which is 2, squared. Oh, forget about the red here. Um, and that's going to equal y, oops, sorry, add, plus y, which is 4. So the y coordinate is equal to 4, minus k, which is 1, squared equals r squared. So 6 minus 2 is going to be 4 squared, plus 4 minus 2 is 3, equals r squared. 4 squared is 16, plus 3 squared is 9 equals r squared. Therefore, that's 25 equals r squared. That means take the square root of both sides. r is equal to 25. So now I know what, actually, I didn't even need to do that. Uh, I'm sorry, r is equal to 5. 
Okay, so now I know what the radius is as well as the center. So what I can do, but I really actually don't even need to find r. I could have just plugged in r squared, right? So I could have actually not solved that and just left it as r squared equals 25. But now I know what the center is, so let's go ahead and plug that in. So it's going to be x minus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals r squared, which was 25. And there we go. All right, the last one is going to take you to remember uh, some information from your geometry days. What we have here is the circumference is 3 pi. So there's a couple ways we uh, determine circumference. You could say circumference equals 2 pi r, or circumference equals diameter times pi. Now, when I'm dealing with circumference, I don't want to deal with diameter. I want to deal with radius, because that's what I need. So I'm going to use this information. Now again, we look at our center. We have h. And we have k. Um, but we need to figure out what is r. So what I'm going to do is if it says the circumference is 3 pi, then I'm going to replace circumference with 3 pi and set it equal to my formula, 2 pi r. Then I'll just solve for r. So using kind of like my inverse operations, I'll divide by 2 pi on both sides. That divides to 1. That divides to 1. And I'm left with 3 halves equals r. Now, I, you could simplify that as a decimal, 1.5, but I don't like dealing with decimals. I, want, I like keeping them just like that. So that's the way I'm going to leave my equation. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in. OK, um, so let's see. I have x. Oh, this marker's going bad. So I have x minus h, which is negative 5. squared plus y minus k, which is negative 6, equals r squared, which is 3 halves squared. OK, so x minus negative 5 is going to be x plus 5. Plus y minus negative 6 is going to be y plus 6. Equals 3. Um, 3 half squared. Now, just remember, 3 half squared is just 3 halves times 3 halves. Right? That's what squaring means. So basically, you're multiplying the numerator times the numerator, denominator times denominator, and you're going to get 9 fourths. Now, that's perfectly fine. Um, some problems or teachers might ask you to do it without any fractions. So to do that, you can multiply by 4 on both sides. Just remember to apply the distributive property. And you, another acceptable way to write this answer is 4 times x plus 5 squared plus 4 times y plus 6 squared equals 9. Okay. Just remember that you know, you'd have to divide by 4 on both sides again to find the radius. But that's just another way to write it. Um, really kind of depends on the book, the test, the teacher, whatever else you may be. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write the equation of a circle. Thanks. Hello. <laughs>